Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. As you saw in the title, it, this video is called My Skylander Story. And in this episode of Skymus, day 5 of Skymus, I'll be talking about uh, just how I kind of got into Skylanders. And, uh, you know, um, how everything kind of happened with me and Skylanders. So let's get right into it. Okay, so it all happened like back when I was like, I think in kindergarten? That's when Skylanders came out in 2011. Either in first grade or kindergarten, I can't remember. Um... So basically, I never heard about it okay, until Christmas. I remember uh, Christmas 2011. My parents got me Skylanders for the week because it was selling. You know, it was a uh, very popular. So my parents, kind of like all parents in 2011, just uh, bought their little. Uh, what was I? Uh, I don't know what I was. But uh, they they bought me Skylanders. You know, the starter pack, Gilgrunt, Spyro, Trigraphy, on the Wii. Nice, I know. Um. I had a blast on it. I had an absolute blast on it. It was so great. Now, I think it was a week after then I got my first Skylander, which, if you guys don't know, is Wrecking Ball. I, I could have chosen Boomer or Wrecking Ball for some reason. I chose Wrecking Ball. I don't know why. I eventually got Boomer, and he's now my second favorite Skylander, but it just worked out like that. And I remember... It was in Skylander's memories within like the fire. I think Chop Chop was the second ever Skylander I got because it was in Sky Shinner Docks. There was an undead element gate. I couldn't get in there. I had no undead Skylander. So my grandma took me at like 12 a.m. at a Walmart to get Chop Chop. It was, I don't know why, but that memory just ingrained in my head. Just, I remember, you know, going there, going to Walmart super early in the morning, getting Chop Chop. It was great. And then after that, you know, we started hunting down Skylanders, me and my grandma. My parents sometimes do, but really it was my grandma that kind of helped me get Skylanders and Skylanders Spars Adventure and Skylanders Giants. Um, you know, I remember getting them. I don't remember like how we, I know, I remember that the very last Skylander I think I ever got, the one that was, that finished off the original 32, I got Wham Shell, the last one was at my aunt's house, but the really only other Skylanders stories I remember of Skylanders getting is, I remember... I was in a car, we were at a gas station, and my other grandma, not the one that got chopped shot, my other one, uh, she just came to the car and gave me a three, uh, a three pack with, I think Zook was in it? It might have been a Zook lightning rod. Here, let me look it up real quick. Yep, I was right. It was a, uh, triple pack between lightning rod, cinder, and Zook. I remember getting that. So that was pretty cool. And there's another three pack I got too, uh, that my parents got when they had left me with my grandparents and then they went to and then they left i forgot where they went and they also went to get uh they, they got a three pack as well so let me look that up real quick too it was a triple pack that had stump smash it had drill uh not drill sorry sorry stump smash it had drill bot and it had flame something i remember getting that too that was pretty cool um those only three packs I think I ever got. The other Skylanders I think I all got individually. I remember Prism Break. I was at a Target, I think. And um, my grandma, she didn't have enough money to buy it. Or she didn't want to. I, don't, I forgot what it was. But um, she was like, hide the Prism Break and like the behind all the Skylanders. So I like, I hid Prism Break behind all the Skylanders. And just like, she was like, Nick, uh, tomorrow we'll come back and hopefully he'll be there. I didn't think he'd be there. But lo and behold, when I got there... Prison Break was still back there. We got Prison Break. I love Prison Break. Um, and I think, like, by the time I got every single Skylander for uh, Skylander Spires Adventure, I just heard about Giants. I, was, I think I was on YouTube or whatever, and um, I, I saw Skylander Giants ad. I was like, Mom, Dad, look, right here. 2012 Skylander Giants. Obviously, it was 2012 then. I think it was around, uh, not October. Sorry, that's too early. I forgot when the Skylanders trailers dropped, but I I think it was like pretty early when it still uh, dropped. It was like, Mom, you need to get this. And if you guys don't know, Swap Force was the first game I got on release. So Giants, I got on Christmas as well. So um, when the game came out, we actually went to Walmart. They showed me they bought everything like, OK, but we're going to give you this for Christmas. And I was like, well, why did you show me it then? But I remember going to Walmart. They got Bouncer Swarm the starter pack and crusher i think that's all they got and then on christmas day i had a light core prison break in my stocking with all the other skylanders giants wave one figures i think i got all the skylanders giants wave one figures that were new figures i can't remember them all but i mean i got the starter pack i actually got the um i forgot what an exclusive it was but it was the exclusive starter pack that had the glow in the dark cinder in it so that was pretty cool 
Uh, the only other really Skyline Limiters Giants things I remember doing was, um, I remember during Halloween, we were at Walmart, I saw the pumpkin head eyebrow. I was like, Mom, Dad, please give me this. They're like, okay. I was like, it's gonna look so cool in game. Pumpkin head, put it on the portal. Uh, you know what happened after that. Uh, to my disappointment, it was just a chase variant. Another one I remember, uh, doing was... I was searching for Thumpback for a while because I really wanted Thumpback. He's still one of my favorite giants. I just thought he looked so cool. And I remember me and my uh, grandma, we just went from GameStop to GameStop to GameStop. Uh, we went to one GameStop. They didn't have Thumpback there. They were like, okay, go to this one. Went to that one. Didn't have it either. We went to another one. and didn't have it. And we were like, okay, last one. If it doesn't have them in here, we're just going to try to find them another day. And that last GameStop had two Thumpbacks. I remember that. I don't know why I remember that, but I remember that GameStop had two Thumpbacks in it. And I was like, this is epic. <laughs> I mean, uh, and yeah, we just, uh, we got Thumbback that day. It was great. I also remember getting Scarlet and then Genie. I don't really know. I think I, my parents like got it off of like some website. I don't know what it was, but yeah, I got Scarlet and Genie too. That came to me. I was like, oh, hey, no, no, that's, that's pretty cool. Hey, um, there wasn't really anything else with Giants that I can remember. I mean, I'm trying to think, uh, and then Genie, I don't know when, I forgot when I got her. I mean, I'm. Did that really giant? Did that mini giants really come out? Swarm, Bouncer, and Crusher and Tree Rex all on release day. That only leaves Hothead, and I don't remember how I got Hothead, but I remember my friend really liked Hothead. He uh, Hothead's good, but I remember I was playing Hothead at my friend's house a lot. And I was like, okay, I need to get this Skylander. He's so good. And then I eventually got him. Don't know how though. All right, moving on. Swap Force. When I saw Swap Force's trailer, I was like, oh my god. This is going to be the best Skylanders game ever. Swap tops and bottoms. I was like, what? That's so cool. And this is the first Skylanders game where I actually uh, got the pre-order card. So we got the pre-order card. And on this is the first Skylanders that I got it the day it came out. I went into Target because every single Skylanders game after that, it was a Target I went to get them. Went to that Target. I was like, oh my god. When I got there, so cool. I got Magna Charge. I got Rattleshake. I got Rattleshake without getting Nitro or Magna Charge. I don't know how I did that. But I got Magna Charge, Rattleshake. I forgot what other ones came out um on release day but yeah i just got like all, i think i got all the swappers i don't know if i, I don't think i got any of the cores on re, on release date but i do remember getting all the swappers firecrack it might have been one of them i'm not sure but then i played that game so much that day i remember that then i also remember going into a best buy i think it wasn't getting the jade or might have been the best but i forgot but i remember getting a jade firecrack him i also remember uh going into a macy's i forgot why we went there but doomstone had just been announced um and he was the only swapper i didn't have we went in there doomstone was there i was like thank god because we had been searching all day for doomstone my parents my parents uh wanted to go to this macy's i forgot why uh macy's is a mall in america by the way I don't, I don't i don't know if it's in, in any other country besides america i'm not really sure but we went in there and doomstone was there i remember i think it was a couple days earlier um, we were trying to find at least Trap Shadow or Freeze Blade. We were trying to find them, and we couldn't find them. So eventually, we went to the, uh, the last store. Uh, we went to one more store, because we were just, uh, my, I think my parents were out grocery shopping that day. Or it might have just been my mom with me, I'm, I forgot. But we went into the Walmart, and it, it had both, it had both Trap Shadow and Freeze Blade. Nice. Um, my mom was like, see, I told you you could find them. I was so happy. I was like this is great now keep in mind i still had the wii up to this point i got the wii uh, i got the wii after trap team so uh the um i didn't care that the graphics were bad my little you know, 10 not 10 i don't forgot how old i was but my little brain thought those graphics looked amazing and that's what i can remember from swap force now trap team is probably going to be the uh shortest segment because i don't really have that much from trap team i don't know why i, I just don't I, I think i have more traps than characters from trap team actually anyway I got the, uh, I got the pre-order card. I don't know what happened to my, uh, my Brawl and Chain exclusive trap. Don't know what happened to that. But we went in there, got the Wii version. The, the Wii was crumbling apart at the scenes at this point. I mean, the Wii graphics were really bad in Trap Team. But I didn't care. We went in there, we got the Wii edition. Nice. I also remember, I think, did I get any other Trap Masters? Oh, I got Jawbreaker that day. Did I get any other trap masters? I don't think I did. Did I not? 
That's so weird. Did I not actually get any of the trap masters out of today? Oh no, I don't think I did because I spent most of my money on traps. I really wanted the traps. Uh, I was like, this, this is great. This looks really cool. I think I got a lot of traps out today. Um, I remember, I think I got up to Chompy Mountain before the end of the day. So that was cool. Um, and by the way, whenever I go get Skylanders on release day, I go like, like right before target opens. I know that we went through like this, uh, this uh, Halloween maze and after that we went to Toys R Us and I got Head Rush and Lobstar so that was pretty cool but besides that I don't really remember anything else I did for trapping oh wait no I do I remember that uh dark and light elements had been announced and I was like okay that's pretty cool right like my little child mind got blown I was like what new elements that's crazy so I went into a I forgot how uh, how long it had been since I seen, but I went to Best Buy. I saw one nightmare, uh, uh, one night uh, nightmare pack. I forgot what it's called, uh, Midnight Museum pack. I was like, okay, come on, mom and dad, please let me get this. It's the only one they have left there. And then I got it and I played it that day. I was like, this is awesome. Then I think I also got the uh, light and the light pack as well for. Um, for for christmas that year too uh, but trap team was great i just i don't know why i do not have i do not have a lot of skylanders from trap team i need to get more uh, but that's really all i remember from trap team okay now superchargers actually has a funny story so um i don't think there's a pre-order card this time for superchargers but we went into the uh the target and there was no superchargers there i was like okay this is the release date this is the day that they said on the trailers that superchargers would be released so we talked to one of the guys there was like oh yeah those are those shipments are coming on tuesday and we're like what i think it was a sunday that day um and they were like wait what i thought it came out today it was like okay i can go check the back for you real quick the, the not the back uh the truck because a truck had just came into target guy goes in the truck and must have been like 30 minutes long before he came out it took so long when he came out he had superchargers i was like thank goodness because i did not want to wait two more days to get superchargers i got the deep dive gill grunt uh i got the, the the triple pack with not the triple pack but the racing pack with deep dive gill grunt uh what else did i get oh yeah i got dive bomber dive clop storm blade her vehicle um i got the starter pack obviously I got Fiesta's car and Fiesta, and I also got the she the Sea Shadow. Kind of weird that they didn't release the uh, Nightfall in Wave One, but I got I think I got all the Wave One stuff. And the only other thing I do remember for Superchargers is that my grandma for Christmas got me the Double Dare Trigger Abbey pack, and I'm so glad she did because that's ex way too expensive now. But that's really all I can remember from Superchargers. I just thought it was a funny thing that um they didn't have superchargers out yet okay last segment imaginators final game it's kind of sad about that uh oh this was the game i probably was most hyped for i mean my little kid brain i think i was in fifth grade so when this game came out so i was probably i was either in fifth grade or no i was in fifth grade i had to be in fifth grade my little kid brain exploded at the scenes when i was like what you can create your own skylander oh my god this is amazing. Um, I saw, I think I saw the picture of like how much stuff I got that day. I got, I think, I'm not even kidding. I think I got every single thing day one on Imaginators. I mean, I got Tri-Tip. I got Starcast. I got, I think Dr. Crankcase came out. I got um, every single element of Creation Crystal that I could. I think the only Creation Crystal that I, um, element I didn't get on launch day was dark i think that was the only creation crystal element that wasn't out at the time you can correct me if i'm wrong but i mean i got tri-tip i got starcast i beat the game this uh, i think just two days later too i played that game so so much i loved it so much um but yeah i got every single skylander that uh came out in imaginators uh um what's it day one i forgot what how much they came out but i mean i i've seen the picture before like i took a picture with all the skylanders i got that day and it's just so many Skylanders. I got so many Skylanders that day. It was great. I also remember uh, getting the Crash Bandicoot Dr. Neo Cortex pack when that came out. And I remember going to a Target, getting Pit Boss, and then going to one of my grandma's friend's house after that. I don't really know if that has anything to do with anything, but I was like, I got Pit Boss. And my grandma was like, okay, we're not going home. You can't play with Pit Boss. We're going to my friend's house real quick. And I was like, but grandma, I, I want to play with Pit Boss. And she's like, no you have to go to her house we'll be quick i was like okay fine but i remember getting pit boss that was a uh, really cool and i think i remember the day i remember the day when i got blastertron too 
we're at a target we're about to leave i was like oh mom can i go check the skylines real quick i think some new ones came out she's like okay sure i go over there guess what's over there blastertron and tide pool tide pool's good too shout out to judas but uh um yeah i got blastertron that day i played him i was like hey wait this guy's from trap team i mean i already knew the villains that came out but i was not expecting blastertron to come out i mean i've already i already seen the poster but i think i i've totally forgot what villains are coming out i think by that time i was like oh my goodness it's blastertron my favorite villain from trap team okay this is epic that same day he became my favorite skylander i feel bad for boomer because boomer was my favorite skylander and he was almost my favorite skylander from every game until imaginators came out but i remember just i think it's weird to say but i think um imaginators is the game i have the second most nostalgia for obviously as far as adventure is the game i have the most nostalgia for but i think it's kind of weird that i have the second this the game that has the second most nostalgia for me is imaginators i have no idea why maybe it's because i was older by then and i can remember more of what happened obviously but yeah i mean that's my skylander story and then the reason why i got back into youtube is it was i think the summer of 2020 which it's still 2020 i mean but i mean we were obviously quarantined and I had all my Skylanders in these buckets. I was like, okay, I'm gonna play through all these games again. I'm gonna play through every single Skylanders game again. Cause I remember, cause I, it's probably been three years since I even, no, it probably had been two years since I even like touched a Skylander by that time. I was like, you know what? I'm playing with these guys again. I remember having so much fun with them as a kid. I played through every single game in like in a week or something. I like, I even wrote that at the time. Like, I think it took me 11 hours to get through uh, Spires of Adventure. It took me eight hours to get through giants it took me 10 hours to get through swap force 11 hours to get through trap team six hours to get through uh it might have been four hours i forgot it was either four or five hours to get through uh superchargers and i think it took me five hours to get through imaginators but i played them all like within a week i was like okay i want to play these games more i want to do more of this so i was like okay you know what i'm just gonna make a youtube channel um made on april 15th i posted my first video five days later channel i guess you could say blew up but i was like my first video i was like 13 i was about to say 13 million with text on me 13 thousand views it's crazy i mean i was like whoa like this video got really popular really fast i got really lucky i think and now i'm almost at 500 subscribers so that's pretty cool anyway guys uh that was my skylanders story i'm not gonna include reading referrals and stuff like that because that doesn't really count hopefully i can add on more to my skylanders story eventually if another game comes out that'd be really nice anyway guys hope you guys have enjoyed this video about me talking about my skylander story and thank you guys for watching